regardless of who sells who in the anything, no one can sell another person without a buyer. Now, the buyer in a transaction of this, following the logic, would be the most powerful person, not the person who's doing the selling. If I point to a person down on the next corner and I say, I'm going to sell that person down on the corner to you. I'm standing on one corner talking to a person and I sell three or four people that I see off in the distance. I can sell anything. That's me talking. Now, now the person has got to go down and claim what was sold to them. They have to walk down to the next corner and say, the fellow down on the other corner just sold you three people to me. So I am going to put you all in chains and from now on you're going to belong to me. Now it comes down to a big fight between the people who don't want to be bought because they've been told that they've been sold and the buyer. So the buyer is still the most powerful person if he can overcome the person or even if he gets the assistance of the person who did the selling. It's still all on the buyer. The buyer makes the decision. That's the most powerful person in that transaction. The person who is making the purchase of another person. That's the most powerful person. That's according to logic. Just stand back and look at it. You have to come to the conclusion, according to logic, that the person who buys another person is the maldoer. Because people are not supposed to be sold by anybody. Now, the intent of the person who did the selling was not correct. True. But the most powerful person could have made it happen or not happen. In this case, it's the white supremacist. So you still blame always, like in any office building or the captain of any ship. You got chaos on the ship. You got people who are doing things that shouldn't be done. You go to the captain's cabin. Everybody that knows anything about maritime law knows that. You always go to the most powerful person and you say, I'm blaming you. Even in the mafiosa. Godfathers 1 and 2. That principle is reinforced over and over again. You always want to go to the Don. The Don. You know, if it's not Salazzo, who is it? Oh, it's Barzini. Well, that's who you talk to. No point in talking to Clemenza and Santini and Carlos and Tessio and the hit men and all like that, you don't talk to them. You want to settle the matter, you go to the Don. Don Barzini, Don Corleone. Go to the most powerful person, the person that tells everybody else what to do. That's on a job or anything else. And if things are not the way they ought to be, it's always the most powerful person's fault. Always without exception because the most powerful person can change it around they can turn it inside out if they want to that's how you know who's powerful the person that dictates what everybody else does and doesn't do so no black person can sell me into anything you can take me down to the docks and all like that but the white person can say hey I'm not buying anybody. Not only that, I'm forcing you to release these people because I'm the most powerful person on this scene. I don't believe in slavery. What are you bringing these people to me for? I'm not buying them. And I'll whip you for bringing them. End of story. Engaging uh, in blaming. If you are a black person, and you are blaming other black people for the problems that you experience. You are helping white people maintain the system of white supremacy.
you understand racism and white supremacy, anytime you are around on television, your radar has got to be up. Like, what are these images that they are flashing on the screen? Why do they want me? Why, oh, yay, Tater Pies is called in on Skype. Um, but, yeah, why do they want me watching this? You know, why are there commercials promoting this television show? Why are my children watching that? I mean, that is like giving your children a strychnine, setting them in front of that television under white supremacy, and they don't understand it, or you're not, you know, keeping an eye to see if maybe they're they're missing something. I mean, man, you got to pay attention. 